Having good running belts and sharp blades can make a huge difference in the look and quality of the cut of your riding mower. Hey guys, Eddie here at Hyperstore.com. Today we're going to be talking about changing the deck belt and the blades on a riding lawnmower. To properly change your belts, we're going to need to remove the deck. This is a lot easier than it may appear. All decks will have a series of connections that can be removed. Your specific model will have the instructions, but essentially the process is to lower the deck, free the belt from the motor pulley, and remove the connectors, which in many cases are simply retainer springs. These can often be removed by hand, but some will need a tool to remove them. Like this Craftsman model, a common arrangement is two retainers in the front, two in the middle, and one in the back. Though yours may have a different configuration, the idea is the same. Remove the retainers that hold the deck, and the cable that raises and lowers the deck. Once this is done, the deck can be wiggled out from under the tractor. At this point, it's a good idea to clear off the deck and take a picture of the belt configuration. Removing the belt is simply a matter of taking it off the pulleys. We can then measure it against the old belt to make sure we have the right replacement part. And then we'll just put the new belt back on in the same way it came off, using the picture as a guide. At this point, it's also very easy to remove the blades and change them out or have them sharpened as well. It is important to note that if you're just changing the blades, this can be done while the deck is still on the mower, but it is more difficult. If you do this, I would recommend removing the spark plug from the engine and or removing the belt from the engine pulley, just as an extra level of safety. Removing the blades can be done simply by holding the blade and taking out the center bolt. Inspect your spindle for any damage, especially the central star or other protrusion which are there to center the blade and prevent it from overturning. Reinstall your new blade in the orientation recommended by the manual. In this case, we have a mulching blade with uplifted trailing edges, making it easy to determine the direction of the installation. It is recommended that you torque these bolts per your model specifications. It is usually 20 to 30 pounds of torque, which is tight but not over tight. It should not take a ton of force here. Reinstalling the deck is simply the reverse of the install. Slide the deck back under the tractor Slip the belt on the engine pulley and reconnect all retainers and cables. You may want to also check your deck level while we're here. This can be simply done by measuring the distance between the deck and the ground on both sides and front and back. Once you're done, check that the deck moves as it should and the blades engage properly. And now, your mower is ready to get back to work. I hope you got something out of that video. And if you did, please consider subscribing and commenting below with any questions or just if you have something to add to the discussion. So thanks for watching and join us at hypostore.com.